Adams Lane 2, Varga from Hungary Lane 3, Schult Jensen, Denmark Lane 4, Thoughts in Germany Lane 5, Green from Australia in Lane 6, Hutting from South Africa Lane 7, Rodriguez, Argentina Lane 8, and Imri from New Zealand in Lane 9. We're about to get underway. And we're off and racing now in the K1 under 23 men's 1,000 metre final. And there's Tom Green going out strong as he always does. Always throws down that challenge early. He says his big focus is two weeks' time. I don't think he's actually doing the 1,000 in, uh, in Zeged, but uh, he'll be part of the K4 there, the men's K, the Australian K4. So that's his big focus. But I'm pretty certain he'd like to pick up the gold medal here if possible. Tom Green from Australia. So it does look like it's Tom Green from Australia who's decided to really go out strong from the from the get-go. He will lead at the 250 metre mark. Tom Green just ahead of Varga from Hungary and Fortson from Germany. So Tom Green, he's had a bit of experience now. You would expect him to be able to paddle a pretty even race. They've of course had the semi-finals this morning. There was no direct qualification for the thousand, so they all had to race this morning in a semi-final. It's heading down the course now. Adam Varga paddling a really strong race, but it's Tom Green from Australia who at this stage has maybe just a slight advantage. It's not much though. They are pretty close together, Varga and Green. Maybe Green just with his nose in front of Varga at the halfway stage. Yes, the uh, official time confirms that. Have to get a wider picture now and we'll see how they're shaping up. It is still Green and Varga. Green, I think, still just with his nose in front. If anything, he's just clearing out, just extended his, his lead just a little bit, although the official time says it was Varga, but it looked to me with a naked eye that it was Thomas Green, and he looks like he's really putting in some hard yards now. Thomas Green from Australia, he has put a boat length between himself and Varga, and it looks like coming up in between them, it's a lane five from Germany, Jakob Fortson, who's going to chase Thomas Green to the finish line. So at this stage, it's Tom Green from Australia. He has his neck in front. Thortson from Germany is chasing him home. Varga trying to hold on, but I think it's going to be Tom Green who's going to take it to the line. They're really flying over there, Varga again. He's lifted again towards the finish line, but it is Tom Green from Australia who's going to take the gold medal. It's the German Thortson silver. Varga holds on for third. What a great race between those three athletes. We are going to see them around for a long, long time to come. But congratulations to the boy in green and gold, Tom Green, who takes the gold medal here in the K1 under 23 men's 1,000 metre race. Five, and look three, at that. Eight. Look at that. That is that is a great picture of the depth of the of the feeling amongst the fellow athletes here. They're all friends. They all know each other so well, and smiles all round. There they are, the gold, silver, and bronze medalists. What a race it was between those three. But you can't take anything away from Tom Green. He led from the outset. A very measured race from this young man, who will also be part of the Australian K4, which I think will be a very strong boat as well because they've got two of those guys in the K2 1000 later on this afternoon. So officially, Thomas Green takes the gold medal for Australia. Jakob Thortson, the silver from Germany, and the bronze medal going to Adam Varga, who really took it out and tried to hold on to Thomas Green, just lost it a little bit, lost a little bit of the horsepower towards the end of the race, and that allowed Thoughts and the German, who paddled a very even 1,000 metres, to sneak through to second. But Tom Green will be pretty happy with that. He kept telling me that he was here to have fun this week. I, I'm really not sure how a 1,000 metre race could ever be described as fun. It looks like pretty hard work to me. But if that's having fun and you can pick up a gold medal, well, I'm sure Tom Green would love to have fun like that every day that he possibly can. So. It's been a good day so far. We've had a couple of Hungarian golds and a Canadian gold and now an Australian gold as well.